Hi guys. So for quite a while, um, you guys have been asking for a full collection update. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and make one. Um, so this is these are warrior beetles. There's four in here. These guys are for sale. Um, they're six or seven dollars each. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, they're no longer five dollars. Yes. <coughs> yeah. Um, I have this little guy. This is the um, little scorpion I have. You can see that. Yeah, pretty cool. He's real, real feisty. Very not feisty, he's just like running away. Yeah, cool little scorpion. Um, he only eats at night, which is pretty funny. Uh, this is my, um, <clears throat> what's it called? Vietnamese centipede. Um, you guys are gonna be quite surprised, but. Yeah, he's gotten a lot bigger. Um, he just molted <coughs> the other day, so I put him in. I put him in, in this from this. So, they're just a little bit bigger. I'm um, taller, especially because he can almost climb out of that, just like jumping. And he definitely jumps, which is kind of scary. But uh, yeah, centipedes are definitely starting to become one of my favorites. Um, there we go. <coughs> um, so here's my Springerus Achoni with a giant sand scorpion right there. What is that? This is a roach. No, I don't know what happened to it. Probably ate it, hopefully. But yeah, so there he is. He's gonna Mommy. move. I think I woke him up. Yeah, so he's doing doing pretty good. I have had him for a while. He still hasn't molted though. I'm trying to get him to eat more food sources than just spiders. <coughs> but yeah. So here's my Mesograptus gigantius or the giant vinegaroon. Um, as you guys know, I got this a few days ago. If I can open the lid with one hand, I think I'll be able to. There we go. Uh, yeah, there he is. Call that out. So, uh, cool guy. Um, he's pretty little still. Uh, there's some roaches in here. Probably ate them. But, yeah, still cool. These guys are definitely one of my favorites. They're just all so expensive, so. If you want one, go to bugsandcyberspace.com. They have them there for like $15. <coughs> or you can like go on arachnid boards and test your luck there, but I don't know. It depends on the seller, you know? Um, this is my bark scorpion tank. There's only one in here, actually. Um, and yeah, here's a blue death feeding beetle. Or, I don't know, it turned black. Uh, probably got cold when I sprayed it yesterday. But yeah, so there's only one in here as of right now. One of them passed away. I don't I don't know why. It just, like, wasn't doing too good. It was fat. It was real fat. But then it started getting slower. And then one day it was just dead. Which just kind of sucked. Because I like them. So yeah, definitely going to try and get more of those. If I find them for a better price than they are now. I don't know if eight dollars for Mark Scorpion is a good deal, you know. Um, this is my oh man, I need to clean this. This is my um assassin bug species Mambo. Um, this one molted to it's like pre sub adult. This one's still a nymph. So yeah, uh, 
definitely getting into assassin bugs more. They're very interesting. I like them a lot. Um, but here's my... I didn't make an update video on these guys. I haven't made an update video on anything, really. I just made feeding videos. But, yeah, so these guys molted to adult. Um, a few, like a week ago. And, yeah, they got their spots. The only bad thing is they're both males, so. <clears throat> Females are parthenogenetic, which means they can have babies um, by themselves. They make genetic copies. Uh, if there's no male available. But, yeah. This one I got yesterday, actually. This is uh, Tatias Digmaris, or the um, Brazilian Striped Bark Scorpion. There's a little roach in here for it. I don't know if it's going to eat, so I'm getting used to its enclosure. But, yeah, definitely a cool scorpion. I like it. Um, these guys are parthenogenetic, and they're all females, so definitely we'll be getting a brood from these guys. I'm gonna try establishing a, col a colony because I found a really good care video. I mean, care cheat on them from all the Scorpion archives. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what Instar he is. I think he might be a fourth Instar, but yeah, whatever. Um, this is a Bansy Gecko. He's, or she's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've had her for a while. Uh, don't know really what else to say. I need to give her more water. She always, she doesn't really drink it at all, or it's evaporating. I'm not too sure because it is pretty dry. But yeah, so I miss this girl, like once or twice. Not uh, probably once a day. Um, because it's pretty, you know, arid. But they do like that moisture. Sometimes she'll drink, some, most of the time she won't. But yeah, she's real pretty. I like her a lot. Too bad she's wild caught, though. Alright. Um. Yeah, so there's that. Put that back up here. Go. All right, next I have the 10 um, Hoffius Spinigurus. Uh, they're the striped tail scorpion. Let's see, where are they? Yeah, there's three under there. These are really cool because at night they're all over the place and and there's like I don't even know how many in there. <laughs> um, I, I really like them though. They're actually real cool. And those are two males. And then yeah, I think that was that was somewhat ten. I didn't count them, but they're pretty cool. They're really aggressive actually. <laughs> if you like. I don't know if they'll do it now because it's on camera and you know everything I say. Um, yeah, they're definitely stinger happy. Like that one. I barely touch them and they like striking at me. But, uh, yeah. So, that's that. And then I have um, this. Ghost all over there. Or the twin rose here trench Right in there. So, pretty cool. Um, I've been trying to get her to eat, but I think she's fasting right now. A lot of these clothes are getting clean. So uh, this is my two stand roaches. Uh, trying to you know establish a colony for them. I'm gonna keep tips from 
friends. There's some between the cracks and stuff. But yeah, so there's that. And then I have more downstairs. So this is the rest of my stuff. Um some of it's empty, but here is the um uh, funnel pound of cow clothes. Uh she did molt once and then now it looks like she didn't molt again. And these are Philippus Inaugurius. Um, I don't know what the other or what the common name is. But let me show you. Got these guys in Pueblo, Colorado. They're actually really like pretty cute species of Jimmy's fire. Yeah, that's what they look like. <coughs> Um, I think that's subadult, and then this is what adult looks like. Looks like that. She's in a web, so I don't want to screw it up like I did this one, because I felt kind of mean doing that. But yeah, these guys are also for sale, so if you want anything, um, you're going to have to email me. And I'll put my email in the description. <coughs> um, and I, I don't know what's going on with my throat right now. This is my... Oh, this is also for sale. I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this is. Um, I'll open it, dang. It's seven-legged Hogner species. Maybe it's Carolinensis or <coughs> like Affluence. Or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, so there's that. And then there's this. This is a blue tiger centipede. Yeah. Blue tiger centipede. Um, yeah, cool little guy. I need a moisten the dirt. I have to do that every day. Um, and then here is my. Rocky Palma Baggins, Mexican Red Rump. Oh, I don't think guy scares me. He's right in there. Let me see the front. Maybe we can. Yeah, that's what she looks like. She molted. I put her in this 10 gallon aquarium. If I could focus the camera. Come on. There we go. But yeah, she's in this 10 gallon. Um, yeah. So, there's that. I have these locks on it because she tried to get out once and that wasn't good. I need to clean this guy's tank too. I haven't cleaned it like, um, it was trashy. Um, here's my leopard geckos. This is Clementine. She still doesn't really like me. You know why? Because I always hold her. And Pax is all the way to here. Yep, there she is. There she is. And Pax. Pax will live hold her. Yeah, so. That's what I got. Um, is I, I just can't keep them out right there, and they always go over there. So. Yeah. That's what I have in my collection as of right now. I'm always trying to update it and get it bigger because it was real small and you guys were asking for a collection update. But I got it. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And till next time, uh, I'll be trying to get my collection bigger. As you can see, I don't have any more Divitris uh, Gius. Um, those guys, I don't know, I just couldn't, um, I don't know, they weren't doing too well, so I gave them to someone, and they're doing fine now, um, they're harder to take care of than I thought, but, you know, I'm gonna try again soon, probably, uh, and as you see, I got the, the Ty Sigmaris, um, I've been getting a lot of scorpions recently, I'm trying to 
get that back up to what it used to be. I'm trying to get a desert hairy and put it in this tank. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. I don't think I have any other announcements or updates or anything. Um, but yeah, so Warrior Beetles are for sale as well as the Fitipus Inaugurus. So if you want those, um, just let me know. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye.